Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how to add, duplicate, and move pages in GoodNotes. So, let's say you have a sticker book, and you're at the end of your sticker book, and you need more pages. Um, so, let's go to the end of the sticker book. You filled up your sticker book and you are at the end. If you simply swipe, you will see it's going to say pull to add a page. If I pull, I'm going to add a duplicate of my last page. Okay? Simply pull to add. That's the easiest way to make an exact copy and your links will still work. Whatever links are present will still work. Okay? Now, if you want to duplicate a page, um, let's say I'm going to go into February. This particular journal comes with a monthly, which I've already started working on, a weekly, a daily, and a blank page for each month. Well, so let's say I like the look of this, I'm not going to change anything, and I just want to duplicate it because I need five weeks in February. You are simply going to go to your four dots in GoodNotes. The page you're on is selected in blue here. I'm going to click Edit. Select that same page and copy. I'm going to click Done. Then I'm going to click the plus at the top left. Anywhere you see a plus sign, you can add your pages. I'm going to click plus after the existing page. Paste copied pages. So there's my first copy. There's my second. Third. Fourth. We're going to add one more. So now I have one, two, three, four, five copied pages after my original. I'm going to click Done. I'm going to click the one that's highlighted, which is the first one. Okay, so I'm going to just write on this so I can see. This was week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, and the next one should be... Hmm, how many did I have? I added too many. Well, if you do that and you want to delete one, Click Edit, select the one you don't want, and Trash. And there I've just fixed my mistake. Click Done. And I have Week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I start with my dailies. And I would copy and paste my dailies as well, as needed. Okay? So I'm going to click the page I want to be on. And there I go. Now all of these copied pages, their links do work. Okay. And this link on the front will always take you to the first one. It will not take you to your copies. Okay. Alright, so that's how you copy pages. Now let's go into the DigiBujo for the next one. These tips that I'm showing you work on any journal. I'm just showing you the ones that I have. These are all from Jenny Gollin Designs. I'll put a link to the ones that I'm using that I'm showing in the description. It'll be at the bottom uh, right corner of your YouTube. There'll be a little arrow, to, down arrow. If you click on that, it will pop up all the information on the video, on all my videos. So, this is the teal. I There's different colors. I just happen to like the teal. And there's my January. I'm going to use February as an example because I haven't worked it yet. So this journal has clickable weekly links. This will take me to week one, week two, week three, and clickable daily links. Day one, day two, day, they're all working links. Um, but they work this way. So if you slide, you will see week one right here. <clears throat> And then if you slide again, you see day one, February 1, February 2. It will take you week, and then 
it'll take you to the weeks and the, then the days. February 3, 4, 5, let me go back to the February. <clears throat> so it'll take you to the weekly first and then however many days in that week. And then it'll take you to week 2 and then 3 through 9. Okay, so week 2, 3, all the way to 9. Week 3 starts, let's see, this is week 3. And when you slide, you go to February 10, and so on, right? So you get week, days, week, days, week, days. Well, I happen to use my weeklies more than my dailies. Um, I do use dailies, but not very often. And so I'm going to show you how to move these. So I'm just marking my weeks here so that when I use my four squares, it's easy to spot where my weeks are, okay? So what I want to do is put my weeklies all together, right next to each other. So <clears throat> I'm going to move these in a way that I don't lose my working links. So I'm not going to copy and paste anything here. I'm simply going to click Edit, select the page I want, and I'm simply going to move it. Drag and drop it where you want it. I'm going to do this with all of my weekly pages. Put them right next to each other. And I have found that this does not change my links. They all work the way they're supposed to. And I find I'm actually using my dailies more because they're not in my way. Okay, so now I have monthly, week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to click done. They're in the order. I'm going to click the page that I'm on. And now my dailies fall into place after that. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They're just all there. And now let's double check our links. Week 1 still takes me to week 1. Week 2. Week 3. Anytime I make a movement, I make sure all my links still work. February 3 did work. February 1, whoops. February 1, all my links still worked. I just moved them from their locations. I didn't cut and paste anything, and I didn't delete anything. But I have found, let me go back to January, that now that I've done this, there's week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, I haven't done yet. But I find that um, having my weeklies together every once in a while, I have the need to work in my dailies. And um, I'm actually using them more now that they're not in the way of my weeklies. So that's how you can add pages, you can duplicate pages, just copy them and add them in where you want them. Um, and you can very simply move pages around. I don't recommend you delete pages because if you change your mind, you can't add them back in. I mean, you can add them back, but your links won't work. You can copy existing pages and your links will work. But if you delete pages, there's no way to bring them back. Okay. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.